Shalom, brothers. Shalom, sisters. Bishop Nathaniel here. You know what day it is. That's right. It is Shout Out Tuesday. It's Shout Out Tuesday. And you know how I love to read your letters of exhortation and your donations of support. But before I do that, I often love to cover a little bit of our hidden history. So get your libations on, get your diet food on, and relax yourself to enjoy today's episode all right the horrors of the arabian connection the slave trade based on zanzibar which handled up to 20,000 slaves a year in the 1870s was fed by the slave trade in the interior of east africa now y'all can read the rest on your own i'm just showing you how the history on how evil the arabs have treated our people the israelites do you see this? An Arab slave caravan on its way to the coast. Oh, there's babies in these baskets. Do y'all see the little babies crying for their mothers? Useless property, exhausted slaves collapse within sight of a water hole and a slave trader prepares to deliver the coup de gras to an exhausted slave. These are the exhausted slaves. And let's see what the slave trader, an Arab, is about to do. About to blow his brains out because he's exhausted. Notice the yokes of iron on his arms. The tree of death. The cruelties of the Arab slave trade reflected in part the cruelties of the rulers with whom the traders dealt. The account of an execution in the 1880s was told by a slave in Zinde Niger. Niger. The Sarki of Zinde is a cruel man and much feared by his subjects. For the least offense, he sentences people to death. When a criminal is to be killed, he is taken by the execution to an open place underneath a lofty tree called, I can't pronounce that, which means the tree of death. It was bounded by great rocks wherein the hyenas had their dens and could eat the bodies of the people executed. Its upper branches were covered with innumerable vultures. There were six men this time to be killed. The last of these men, when the executioner was wrestling with him, bit him several times in the arms so that so that he took out pieces of flesh with his teeth. And this so enraged the executioner that he drew the rope through the man's armpits and then slung him up to the tree. And when he was thus hung up, 
perpendicularly and swinging to and fro and turning around, turning round, the executioner took his sharp sword and slowly cut the man to bits and little pieces. Here's the tree. Do you see that? See what the Arabs did to us? The Muslims, the Muslim Arabs. The Muslim Arabs. Slave market. Where the Arabs had the children of Israel. Where we sat for them. Where we sat for them. Do y'all see this? Say, so I know I didn't make this up. Slave Mart, the slave market in Zanzibar where purchasers examined and bought some 200 to 300 slaves a day. See the Arab right there? Let's see the Arab right there. See the slaves? This is that kind of wheel that they had Samson Push, that the Philistines had Samson push. This one's tied. Look at this. On the ship. See the Arabs whipping them? A Zao, the favorite slave carrying vessel of Arab slave traders. Now, what is this? A worker shows a pierced hand to the cameraman, while below another looks down at several hand. A severed hand and foot. I read there's a book that tells you this was the hand and foot of his daughter. The hand and foot of his daughter. That's what the Christians did. Evidence of atrocity. Congolese is accompanied by a white investigator to display severed hands for the camera. This is what your good Christians did. So you Arabs and you Christians, you don't get a pass. You Arabs and you whites, you don't get a pass from God. However, despite the existence of this law, slavery and sex slavery continued to be practiced throughout the Muslim world. The Ottoman Empire abolished slavery with the adoption of the Turkish constitution in 1924 upon its dissolution. The decline of the Arab Muslim slave trade was not solely due to British intervention. A variety of factors contributed to its eventual demise, including the rise of nationalism and the growing influence of Western ideas about human rights and freedom, which was the exact opposite of Islamic values. Saudi Arabia and Yemen were the last countries to abolish slavery in 1962. The simple reason for this delay is that Islam sanctions slavery like no other religion. You might say that Christianity also sanctions slavery, but the key difference is that the vast majority of Christians gave up dogmatically believing in the religion centuries ago. Muslims, on the other hand, still want to believe in Islam as dogmatically as possible. The belief is that the more dogmatic you are, the better you are. I have never met anyone who doesn't like Muhammad Ali, and I'm no different. After all, he was... I am the greatest! Greatest icon of all time. But he was so wrong about Islam. 
The irony is that he dropped his name Cassius Clay, calling it a name given to him by slave-owning Americans, when in reality, Cassius Marcellus Clay was an abolitionist who founded the abolitionist newspaper called The True American. Unfortunately, Muhammad Ali didn't know about this, and he swapped his name from anti-slave activist Cassius Clay to probably the greatest slaver of all time, Muhammad. Woo! Now y'all heard it for yourself. You heard it from an Arab point of view, if he's Arab. I know he might be, you know, Arabs is Ishmael. Y'all know they're the same. Um, but you didn't hear it coming from me. So you don't, I don't want y'all to think this is any type of personal agenda that I have at all. I need y'all to just look and listen to what's coming out and learn if you can. Learn, learn, learn. So as the guy stated, Islam, this, well, slavery under Islam lasted for 13 centuries. Whoa! Now, that's way longer than the transatlantic slave trade, as he brought out. Now, I'm going to show you that that is what God prophesied what would happen when you go to Deuteronomy 28. And we're going to read verse 45 and 46. I'll read, actually, I'll read 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Today, who are we talking about? The Arabs. The 12 tribes of Israel, our people, were given to the Arabs. Y'all listening? Let's read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. We're talking about the Arabs now. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. We had no military might to fight against the Arabs during the sub sahara slave trade to get our sons and daughters back. We had no economic might against the Arabs during the sub sahara slave trade to get our sons and daughters back. And we had no political might during the sub sahara slave trade to get our sons and daughters back. That's one of the curses that fell upon us for breaking God's commandments. So now let's jump over to verse 45. Moreover, all these curses, see that word? Curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Have we been destroyed as a people? Yes, we've been destroyed from being the 12 tribes of Israel. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. So why did these curses come upon us? Because we did not keep God's commandments. Verse 46, and they, meaning the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign. What's the sign? That whoever these curses fit of slavery, colonialism, loss of identity, and oppression, the sign is that you are the Israelites. Let's read it again, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. For how long? Forever. This is why many of the classes of recent we've discussed. Slavery in Saudi Arabia ended when? 1962. Slavery in Islamic Mauritania ended when? 1982. Slavery in Libya ended when? Oh, it's still going on. Oh, God sent an earthquake and shut it down temporarily. But as recent as April 2023 in Libya, slavery was going on. There was slavery and they were selling our sons and daughters in Islamic Libya. Attention Israel. Shout Out Tuesday will no longer be hosted on YouTube. For all future viewing, go over to and subscribe to IUIC TV. And remember, stay in the spirit. Shalom, Most High in Christ bless.